Hello everybody, my name is Promise, and welcome back to more RimWorld with the Ideology Expansion playing with our wandering nomads. Last time we actually took out a raider camp and an infested city got some treasure, some of which was really good and some was just kind of, you know, meh. Uh, we're going to continue traveling through the Minyoka Rainforest for a little bit, heading up toward another one of these camps. We probably would get there faster if I took the roads, but... There's a lot more foraging opportunities along the rainforest, although at the same time, also some illness possibilities. So, eh, maybe this isn't the best way to go, but it's what we're gonna do anyway. So let's go ahead and speed things up. Still pushing a little bit up here toward the north, working our way. We're probably about mm, a third to half of the way to the friendly AI. I mean, we've come a pretty long way. Yeah, you know what I'd say? We're about halfway, maybe a little bit more than halfway. Coming up all the way like this. Not bad, not bad at all. So yeah, we can definitely get there soon. The problem is, when we do get to the friendly AI, are we going to be able to defend the ship long enough to actually take off? I've actually never done this ending before, so I don't really know for sure. Um, to that extent, we probably do want to get up there and then spend some time farming ancient dangers or anything else that can get me some really good equipment. Uh-oh, we've been ambushed! Ah, oh, my life, not the cannibals! The cannibals, the guys over here to the east? Okay, this is gonna be good. Um, well, there's definitely quite a few of them. Unfortunately, they're not tribal cannibals. These guys actually have some guns. Like, legit good guns. So, oh, it's gonna be fun. All right, let's see. Where do we think we can defend? Well, there's a bunch of rocks and some trees. If we can get them to funnel through this open ground here while we take defensive positions along here, maybe we can get some good shots. Of course, if they decide to come through this direction, they'll have some cover. Maybe setting up right over here is going to be the way to go. I think it might very well be. All right, let's go ahead and do exactly that. We're going to set you guys up right up along the rocks. Good defensive location. And hopefully this is enough to keep me safe. And if they come through this territory, we should get a lot of good attacks in. And you know what? In order to boost this up a little bit, let's use the Marksman Command boost. This should make all my other range units fire off a bit more effectively, yeah? All right, so here's hoping this actually works for us. Dweeb is on his way. Oh, that's going to be good. Uh, I'll let the other melee characters take him out. For now, Tigera, try to take out the guys at a long range. And one of these guys had Molotovs. Yeah, Est right there. I don't like you. So let's try to take you out as fast as we can before you can toss any of that in there. Because even though it is raining, that could quickly turn into a rather serious problem. Speaking of which, there it is. All right, Molotov. Mr. Juzum is going to have a few burns, but hopefully otherwise be okay. Habsburg. We got some people who are getting in and attacking Lord Dragon. Can't allow that. Oh, boy. This is uh, this is turning into a bit of a problem. Dragon and team, you're going to have to freaking run for it in a little bit. Let's go ahead and back her on up since we're getting hit pretty... Oh, God. Pretty hard, actually. Yikes. But we are getting some level ups. Oh, Mr. Juzum is down. That's not a good sign. Okay. Um, can we real quick set up a sleeping spot, which we will use specifically for medical stuff? And have one of the slaves run in there and grab him. Not Fun Deck. Fun Deck is missing a proper leg. Rescue Mr. Juzum. This is the point of the slaves. Get in there and save these people. Hurry! Mm, looks like one of those stun grenades didn't work out well for you over there. Okay. Um, I'll say Habsburg is cleaning up house right now. He is just walking in here and slaughtering these fools. This is going great. Um, let's see. We need to take out... We actually managed to snipe a couple in the background. Can we get you, for example? I need to just get a couple more of these guys dead, and I think they're going to freaking run for it. Lex appears to be down as well. Okay, no bueno. Uh, let's go ahead and set up another medical spot and see if we can get her rescued as well. Okay, looks like they are running away, and we happen to just kill the person who was tossing these uh, flash grenades. That's what was hurting me so bad. Okay, um, so Soul Border was trying to bring Mr. Juzum through here, but I think he got stun-locked in the door, which is kind of hilarious and also terrifying. Uh, all right, so we need to clean up house, and then we need to assess the damage. Let's take a look-see here. Uh, Habsburg appears to be actually more or less fine, and as far as I can tell, pretty much everyone else is in reasonable shape. I don't know if Soul Border recently lost his middle finger here, but... Yeah, this is the real danger, is some stabs that are causing some bleeding. So both Lex and Mr. Juzum are in danger of dying. Dragon's okay, Tigera is okay. So if we can staunch the bleeding for both of them, we should be a-okay. Tigera, I need you to go and prioritize healing Lex ASAP. What are you doing right now? There we go, tending to Lex. Perfect. Grab the meds and do what you need to do. No, ugh. All right, fine, hang on. I will personally tell you to do it so you can ignore the fact that there's a guy over here. I'm well aware that there's a threat. We got it under control. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Do we have any Wrigglers? 
I'm not seeing anybody who's still alive. It looks like we actually slaughtered every single one of them. Which kind of suits me just fine. Um, we got quite a lot of uh, wonderful weapons, including these splash grenades, which might be great for a slave to hold on to. I don't think it'll do that much like damage if they do have a slave revolt, but it might be useful just to have them tossing into the back lines. Now, that being said, I do believe that if a slave is holding any weapon, regardless of whether it's actually useful for escaping or not, it increases their chances of rising up against you. So it still might not be worth giving it to them right away. But in a pinch when we're already being attacked, yeah, sure, maybe. Hey, I'm confused. It sure as heck looks like this person's a wriggler. Why can't I click on this person? I see you moving over here. Heck is going on with this? Um, is there any way to see? I can't, I can't, mm. No, I can't get a hold of you. I have no idea what's going on with this person. Mr. Juzum is now binging on alcohol because of his intense pain. That makes sense, but it looks like instead you decided to eat chocolate and then you passed out. And now we have an infection on Mr. Juzum. Okay, no, that's good. Um, would you please rescue Mr. Juzum and tend to that, like, ASAP? Because that's going to be kind of important. We do not want that building up anytime soon. There we go. Well, that was a terrible quality tend. Terrible quality. Okay, this, this actually may become a problem. We're going to need to use real medicine. But the sooner I get everyone back on the road, probably the better. Because they'll automatically tend to a lot of this stuff using the medicine without me having to go hunting for it amongst my animals. So I think that's going to be the way to go. And now that everyone is patched up, I think we're going to be all right. So let's get back to the world map, and let's say we are done with this nonsense and continue on our merry little way. Another infection on Mr. Juzum. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, I mean, that is that is definitely becoming an increasing concern for me. Um... I might need to micromanage some of this tending. I mean, it says we can tend again in just a few hours. Three hours? All right. Yeah, I think I think what I'm going to do in order to try and ma uh, maximize the opportunity to do this quickly and effectively is I'm actually going to split off Mr. Juzum and Tigera into separate groups and let them form a quick camp. And everyone else stays out of here for a little bit. But that way, we guarantee we have the medicine on hand right away. Okay, there we go. Easy enough. So Mr. Juzum is now properly tended with good medicine. Hopefully, we'll be just fine from the uh, infection. We had a quest pop up for another ancient complex. I still am just kind of wary on these, but, I mean, it's not like it's that far out of our way, and it's not like we are hurting for food. We're fine on that. So maybe it's worth just walking over here and trying to set up camp one more time, and then maybe we just go ahead and attack these cannibals and set up the pirates. With the exception of Mr. Juzum, it looks like everyone's fully healed. Uh, and Mr. Juzum has lost his gun because now he is holding a, a log. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. All right, we've done this before. Let's go ahead and deconstruct this and see what happens. There are some actual mechanoids in here this time around. Okay. Well, I think I have to kind of walk in here, which is going to set off the trap and probably burn them all alive. Which kind of works for me. I mean, I should be safe and they're all going to blow up just like that. See, there we go. Now we should be able to just finish them off. Get him! Hurry up, quickly, before they can shoot you! There we go, got those down, okay. There is a hermetic crate, and while it is damaged, I think we found in the past they usually do survive the fire. In fact, if anything, we might be able to get the fire to work for us. And then we'll do it while singing, We didn't start the fire, which is an obvious lie, but... I mean, it makes for a really fun battle theme, I think, right? Well, down here we found a couple more of these crypto sleep pods. That's fine, we should be able to deal with that. Lex, why are you getting shot at? Come on, you'll be fine. Habsburg, get in there and punch him. You know you're good at it. Dragon's hit too now. Gosh dang it, these guys actually have some good gear or something. What you got on here? Flak jackets, marine boots. Yeah, you got a lot of armor on you. And a heavy combat SMG, which isn't that exciting, but yeah, you got a lot going for you. Ooh, we got some extra melee skill, I love it. Ooh, there was someone hanging out inside this pod, but Habsburg immediately took him down, beautifully done. Uh, you got some stuff on you, nothing extraordinary. Let's go ahead and quickly strip you off before you die. Dying in four hours. Yeah, with a leg gone and stuff, not great. What's your skills? Uh, you're okay at a couple of things, but overall I'd say you're a pretty useless character, so we'll just take your loot and move on. What is it, by the way, with the game consistently trying to give me Luciferium? We've managed to open that up in this crate. It's like, these are just ancient drug caches. That's all this stuff is. I'm honestly just kind of letting Habsburg take care of almost all this stuff inside here. He can handle it, frankly. He's armored up to the teeth. Ooh, Glitter World Medicine. Okay, for once, something that's actually somewhat useful. Um, 
Lex, I'm not sure what you're trying to do here, but why don't you go ahead and open up this crate and then we can get the heck out. All right, never mind. How about somebody else? Tigera! No, wait, you need to be treating people. Um, fun deck! You get to go through here and open up the crates. It's got some silver. Ugh, all right. I'm kind of giving up on these, honestly. Ancient dangers are what I want. Everything else here, it's just garbage. It's a bunch of useless garbage. I mean, I do I do agree that getting a battle rifle is nice, but beyond that, it's all garbage. The one good thing about doing all that, though, is I am getting myself some extra food. Simply have the slaves go and collect food while I deal with the complex. It's actually a pretty good way to do things. Alrighty, moving on. Heading toward the cannibals. I think we're going to once again split off the forces a little bit for this next attack. I am going to bring along Natasha, and I'm going to equip her with some of those flash grenades and see if we can make that work. Mr. Juzum, I mean, you're the one who's been ultimately hurt the most recently, so I'm going to let you have a brief break. We'll also bring along some extra armor and stuff. It's a good chance to uh, kind of reorganize ourselves. And actually, you know, one thing we el else we could bring is some alpaca wool. Let's say like 200 if we can carry all that. And the reason why is I might be able to set up some quick barricades using the wall. Oh, that seems like a brilliant idea. All right, let's see how this works. Wow, look at that charge beam go. Oh my God, Dragon's gonna have some fun with this thing. This can wreck faces, oh man. All right, Natasha, I'm gonna have you sneak up here and see if you can toss a few grenades in here or something. You're a little out of range, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Habsburg, why don't you go ahead and escort her? You got the shields and stuff after all. Nyko looks like he's going to be a problem. Natasha has been hit, but hopefully not that bad. And in the meantime, yeah, Dragon is just laying into them with this thing. Oh my god, this gun's amazing. I love it. And it looks like they're actually already fleeing, which did not take that long. And I am pretty sure that means we are going to be able to slaughter them as they all run right past me. Oh, yes, yes. This new setup is uh, is working just fine for me. Just fine. Well freaking done. Holy crud. Natasha, you hit yourself with your own stun grenade. Well, that's embarrassing for you. Run, Lex, run. This is about to be explosive. Boom. There we go. All right. Habsburg should be able to clean up house. we got a couple of wrigglers that we're going to try to clean up. I see at least one more turret, and that honestly might be it. Yeah, that went phenomenally well. Way better than I was expecting it to. Cannibals, man. We have done the world a favor and destroyed the cannibals. There's got to be beds somewhere here. Well, there's a couple of beds at least. Really, though? Is that it? That's all we got? There's got to be more beds. I need to have actually a place for people to kind of park down and get healed. Now we'll go ahead and make these into medical in the meantime. Cannon, walk in here. Okay, yeah, no, that's all they got as far as beds. Wow. These cannibals believed in sleeping outside on the grounds. Uh, I admire that, and also you're stupid, and I hate you. Oh, crap. Looks like Mr. Juzum was attacked while we were gone, and we have no fighters. Well, that was smart. Huh. Muffalo Wool, Wake Up, Luciferium, and a couple of Psychic Animal Pulsers. Uh, I think I have to give this up, because in this particular case, we can't fight back with unarmed slaves. Also, this is not as bad as it could have been. I mean, losing a bunch of drugs is just some money. It's ultimately not that big of a deal. And we have lots of animal pulsers, I think. Uh, I think we have like four or five. So losing two isn't that big a deal. All right, fine. We give that stuff up. But in order to prevent that from happening again, let's go ahead and bring in the rest of the caravan. We did capture one Wriggler who might be worth keeping. And that would be Chantal over here, who does have some shooting skill and some field medicine experience. Squeamish and tough, which is kind of weird to have in both cases. Also incapable of art, but you know what? That's no surprise. What does surprise me is I don't see any evidence that you have any cannibal traits. So that's fun. Um, first thing to do, of course, with you will be to start converting you. And if we can make a new warrior out of you, that sounds great for me. I got plenty of guns. I do have some concerns about the impending fire on all sides. That's probably not a good thing. Okay, yeah, I think this is probably time for us to skip the heck out of here. So everyone should be healing up just fine. We actually harvested all their corn, which is kind of hilarious. And if we want to set up a base somewhere else, I think I'm down for that. Let's go ahead and move the caravan up over this way toward a river. Might be a good place for me to actually settle down, look for some more ancient dangers, and so on. So Chantal is going to be my new prisoner. We have... Again, so very many animals, um, and they're getting pregnant all the time. It's kind of insane. We really need to change up your weaponry. Hang on. You know what? Before we get out of here, Mr. Juzum, drop the log. I know you like it, but it's stupid. Put it down. 
Actually, never mind. It'll take way too long to find the dang weapon amongst all my uh, animals and such. Okay, so we're getting a bit of extra armor out of some of this. A lot of tainted nonsense I probably don't much care for. Silver flak helmets, recon helmets. Ooh, there we go. That could be helpful. And a plasteel crown. Well, seems like Habsburg might be able to get a crown on his head. If only it weren't useless in combat. If we ever get him up to a really high rank with the Empire, that actually could end up being useful, though. So, I don't know. We'll probably hold on to it. Fermenting barrels? Nah. I don't think I need any of that right now. And as far as travel supplies, plenty more meals. Lots of lots of food here. And some extra jelly. Some medicine we brought along. And boom. Okay, I think that's about it. Cool. So, we got 15 days worth of food. Well, that was extremely profitable. Let's go ahead and move over to the river. I do apologize, by the way, if my voice sounds a little stupid. Uh, today, for some reason, is like the worst allergies I have had in many years. It's really, really bad. So I'm trying not to sniffle a lot on camera. I actually was talking to my wife. It'd be kind of funny if I did like a sneeze counter, but I'm, I'm too professional to try doing something like that anyway. All right, so Tigera and Natasha are the only ones still injured, but they should be just fine and dandy. Let's settle up on this river, and I'm not going to set up a camp. I'm going to actually settle. Yes, I know it means it's going to take a long time to unpack a camp, but I think that's fine. We need some time to actually process, do some research, get some crafting done, and also take care of this new prisoner. All right, everyone, get to work. This will take a little while. Oh, right, and of course we have to worry about yaks and stuff getting away. Ugh. How do people feel about this new pen mechanic? Because I am torn uh, at, at best. I kind of understand why it's been added into the game. I also kind of feel like it's really annoying sometimes. So I don't know. I'm not I'm not a big believer, but we'll have to play with the game and the way that it's built. This is this is my life now. This is how it's going to be forevermore. So we might as well stop complaining and just dang well get used to it. What's this? I got a quest. The Arco Nexus? Fabian is looking to expand their territory. Interested in taking over Ludian? Really? You're looking to overthrow the game himself! Alright, that's gonna be hilarious. With all its wealth and technology, yeah, there's gonna be a lot. If you can increase your total wealth to 350,000, they will take the settlement. In trade, they offer me part of the location to an ancient architect nexus. I believe this is a new way of quote-unquote winning the game. Uh, kind of like starting up a game of RimWorld Plus. If I understand this correctly, what you do is you build up a huge colony worth an absolute ton. They come, they take over the colony, five of your people and animals get to move on to a new start and start over, bringing along some gear, right? So you'll lose most of your stuff, but you get to go to a nexus, and if you can build up all the map parts, you get access to, like, some really good tech or something like that. I don't know. That's something that would be really fun to experiment with in the future, but it's basically, like, four full games of RimWorld in order to really enjoy that. Which, I mean, maybe some people would like, but I don't have the time for that, unfortunately, so we're going to have to pass. Now, this is interesting. We actually do have a royal tribute collector who just came through. Hmm, Habsburg. Um, this could be an opportunity for us to, one, offload some excess wealth because it's only making the game harder for no advantage, and possibly buy Habsburg some extra ranks. Which works well for me because Habsburg is an ascetic, which means even if he does get to a higher level within the Empire, uh, probably isn't going to care all that much about whether he has a proper throne room. So let's see. We could sell off some slaves. No. Could give away some gold. Well, I can give away 20. I know I have a lot more than that. If you guys stick around, there's a big zone right here that I'll eventually drop some more off. Well, here's 20 gold for now. All right. Cool. We'll bring you a little bit. Oh, great. A whole load of animals. And by a whole load, I mean a whole load just got the plague. Treating all of that while also trying to deal with all this is going to be exceptionally difficult. We will sure as heck try, though. Tigera is going to have her work cut out for her. We're going to use up a load of herbal meds and see what we can save. But you know what? If a few animals die, it's not a huge deal. Uh, a cargo pod full of weapons just landed with a plasteel pickaxe. I mean, as far as some weapons go, if it's plasteel, this isn't terrible, not to mention increases your mining speed by 33%. So, like, I don't know. I mean, it's okay. Maybe we go ahead and give it to Soul Border, and we hope that having a weapon doesn't make him rebellious. Okay, now that the gold is where it needs to be, what if I gave up, like, 500 gold? This should be worth a load of honor. Seven more honor? Heck yes. Okay, and now Habsburg gets to get a level up, 
You are an acolyte. Okay. Well, we're going to want a nice uh, room in order to do that. I think this will end up being my crafting area, and this will end up being the den or the barracks. Or something like that. Um, slaves are going to need to sleep somewhere else, I think. Not not with the main group. There is a mood debuff if you uh, end up racking, uh, sending up your beds with the rest of the slaves. And I don't see any reason to do that. Soul Border just proposed to Tigera. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, you conquered another one, Tigera. Well done. Oh no, a bad monkey. Lex. Oh, good punch, actually. Taken care of. Excellent. Man, unloading this entire base is taking a very, very long time. Trying to organize this nicely. So, you know, we have a large storage area plus some of our crafting areas and so on. Dining spot, blah, blah, blah. Turn this in with plenty of art so people have lots of comfort. I'm working on it. Um... It's just, even with this many people, there's so much to do. Just delivering all the wood alone has taken me like two or three days. Oh wait, colonists are gathering to celebrate Tiger and Lord Dragon's merit. Wait a minute, but Soulboarder just had to propose. So Soulboarder proposed before they were even married. Okay, right, I kind of forgot about that one, but yep, there, there's another. And now everyone is celebrating. I really credit the fact that Tigera has an ascetic nose as the main reason that she's getting married so many times. I mean, literally, she'll have the highest beauty rating simply because of a prosthetic nose. That's it. That's all it takes. And all of a sudden, she's the prettiest girl at the ball. Every man can't resist the beauty of Tigera. Fun deck just tried to convert Soul Border. Oh. Well, you created a little bit of doubt, but I kind of forgot you were doing things like that. All right. Let's try for some more conversion of you using my special ability. Fell to 4.7%. I feel like one more time we can finally bring Fun Deck Hermit over to the proper side of the Wanderer. My god, that is so many animals. There's a couple of new things that I need to build that I've never tried building so far. First off, a styling station. Because we actually have a lot of people who have said they want to change their look. Which I th think mostly will come down to changing up their hairstyle and such. Which I don't really, you know, care about that much. So if that makes them happy, fine. In the meantime, they've had a mood penalty for a long time. I also want to try building an Altar of Victors which is something special for my religion, and I'll build it out of jade. Because if this is not an art project, a construction project, well, I feel like we should be able to build something really cool out of this. I love how people are walking around inside the house and cleaning up all the dirt. Oh, there's some dirt on my dirt! Better clean it up quickly! Eh, sure it'll be fine. All right, altar victors should be done right about now. There it is, and it is not of a particular quality, so I guess it doesn't matter too much who built it, but there we go. So from here, I could do rituals, I could do speeches, I could begin an execution. Oh, well that's fun. Um, I don't want to do that. I kind of thought this was something I would be able to uh, uninstall though. So alas and alack, I'll probably have to deconstruct this and waste some jade. Eh, still, it was worth building one of these. It's worth it for now. Okay, now that we've got this all finally getting set up, let's make sure we place down some more tilled soil. Wouldn't mind growing a few more crops to make sure we can keep this food going. It's time to start restocking on meals. Not that I'm having any problems since I have about 300 packaged survival meals no one's been allowed to touch for a good long while. I am surprised these guys still consider this barracks to be terrible. And also, apparently the altar of victors has been disrespected and needs to be in a better room. Oh. Oh, really? Is that how this works? Oh, um, oops. Okay, well... Apparently, we are hurting ourselves by placing this here, and I should get rid of it somewhere else. I don't care what the name of this place is. It's temporary anyway. We need to place down some floors. That's the only way this place is going to be considered beautiful enough to make this work, right? So, that's a thing we'll do. Go ahead and extract a bunch of floors from all the existing little ruins. Not only get a lot of construction XP, but a lot of free blocks. So, I shouldn't have to construct too many of my own. And for the most part, I think everything's kind of looking hunky-dory. What I do want to do in between videos is try to um, set up my armor configuration a little bit differently. I don't think everyone's wearing the most efficient armor at this point. It looks like Habsburg ditched some of the really good armor we had before. Uh, I don't know why, but we do have still things like Siege Breaker armor and stuff that no one's been using up to this point, and I'm not sure why the AI is calculating other stuff as more valuable, but I don't think I necessarily agree with it. I also would like to find some ways to possibly uh, repair some of my stuff. We did spend the time to research that. So if we can repair some of our goods, like a mending workbench right here, this could actually be pretty significant for us so that we are able to actually take advantage of all of our stuff. All our weapons, all our gear, make sure it's in tip-top shape so I never have to recycle different stuff. That's going to be the plan. In the meantime, well, 
let's pray that we don't have any raiders because that will be pretty difficult for me to deal with. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.